Mr. Hansraj Bhardwaj, thank you for joining me here on the News Hour Direct, Mr. Bhardwaj. Uh, you were the thank law you, minister in Mr. UPA 1. Mr. Gosan. Yes. Yes. So you yes. were the law minister in UPA 1, Mr. Bhardwaj, between 2004 and 2009. Yeah. Exactly. So if any minister... Yes, I was the law minister. So as, as Mr. Karju says, yeah. Mr. Karju says that some minister in the UPA 1 government yeah. spoke to the then Chief Justice of ah. India, Justice Lahoti, to not deny yeah. this, this particular judge is... backed by the DMK and appointment. Now, Mr. Bhardwaj, question number one mm. to you is, you were the law minister, you are politically very active, mm. hence the finger of suspicion yeah. with respect will be on you. You must be the minister who played that role in Let trying to fix the, you. in trying to fix the Supreme Court. Did you do that? Let me tell you, there is no control on what Kardu, Justice Karju speaks these days. But records will bear out that uh, during my tenure as law minister, uh, judiciary was fully insulated and it, whatever appointments were made have been outstanding and they are serving judges in the Supreme Court. No, no, but you have, you have, you have, you, Mr. Bhardwaj, while you have denied having succumbed to any pressure in terms of the appointment of judges, you have admitted to pressure uh, from Congress allies uh, in this regard. So let me ask you, question number one, mm. did the DMK ever pressurize yeah. you with regard to the appointment of judges? Any judge? There is no question of pressurizing me. Record bears out. I never succumbed to the pressure of DMK in any, any matter. No, so the there was pressure. Was. You admit but there I was pressure. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, 18 MPs came. And told and you what? Including their own Minister of State. Told that the injustice is being done to this Ashok, who was a scheduled caste person. Right. And why our, our, our people are very angry with it. I said, I cannot decide it. It will no, be What did they want you to do? 18 MPs told, the, came to you and did what? Said what? They said he, he should be made permanent immediately. So they were putting pressure through you. Possible. They were putting pressure through you to try no, and give this man an extension and make him permanent. And ev everything happened with me. And I, I told frankly to all the friends who came to me, member of parliament, ministers with due courtesy, that it is not within my province to decide this issue. It will go to CGI. And the matter along with their views were sent to CGI. And he decided not to confirm him straight away. He said, I will hold a discreet inquiry. And after that, we will decide. So, so there was an intelligence, at one minute, at this stage, Mr. Bhardwaj, the story becomes interesting. At this stage, there was an intelligence bureau report. Mm -hmm. Justice Karju has claimed that he ordered, there was an intelligence bureau report on this concerned judge which confirmed a long list of allegations against him. My question to you is, A, were the details of this Intelligence Bureau report shared with you? You check up. I never received any intelligence report. And let me brief you, Mr. Goswami. Intelligence reports are taken by the central government, if necessary, not in the states. And secondly, when this particular judge was made as a traditional judge, all these verification took place during that period two so, years ago. And this was only a time to confirm him. No, so Mr. Mr. Bhardwaj, Mr. Bhardwaj, here's a very strange yeah. situation. The situation is this, that there is a yeah. man, you know, against whom, and you are naming a person, mm. I am not naming any person here because I don't know the name of any individual person. You are saying that in your own capacity. No, there is, there is, I there is allegedly, know, I, there is allegedly, I, a, there is allegedly a man huh? who's an additional judge against mm. whom there is a long series mm. of corruption allegations. There is a negative intelligence bureau report, mm. right? And the collegium mm. has rejected mm. this person's continuance in the Madras High Court as per Karju and passed its observations to the central government. You admit up to the point where you say DMK MPs came to you and said that this injustice to this man, irrespective of the corruption allegations against him, give him an extension, let him continue. But you don't explain how it eventually happened. 
if there is if there is a negative intelligence bureau report mr bhardwaj let's be very clear a if there is a negative intelligence bureau report b if there are corruption allegations c if this matter the chief justice of india is seized of it b if there are reservations d if there are reservations from the chief justice of the madras high court then how on earth mr bhardwaj did the man get an extension without political pressure let me tell you let me tell you this is wholly wrong any intelligence or any state letter of kadju was received only his letter and without any substance or supporting evidence and the grievance was made by judge himself that i am being discriminated against because of the bias and i am not being confirmed although my just expectation to be confirmed as just have arrived and there is a verdict of supreme court that those who are additional judge should be confirmed unless there are supporting contrary evidence so why did your so my, so my question is why did your government object to the decision uh, of the collegium to put on hold the continuance of a person in the madras not, high court no, whose no. who's no no whose conduct uh, was under question who was allegedly the subject of several corruption allegations i want to know from you you were the minister why did I'm your government object to I'm the collegium's decision look here it's i am not a new person to this system you check every every appointment is made after effective consultation both sides and whatever the state government accept recommends or rejects or whatever the cj of the high court recommends or not accept it is to be decided by the supreme court chief justice and it is my duty if there is any sir. verification to be done or and to satisfy the sir. chief justice that this is his legitimate sir, or can, right can, or can not can i can i be very can I, I be did, very, I, can i be very can i be very direct with you if you don't mind mr bardwaj why not why no why why not you know mr bardwaj manmohan singh has claimed hmm. in the past that raja's yeah. induction in the a yeah. upa government was the result of compromise emanating out of coalition politics you are aware of that now in the same regard mr bhardwaj if the dmk wanted mm. an allegedly corrupt man to continue in the madras high court why should one not believe that manmohan singh panicked told you about it that he panicked and your manmohan government gave singh in why why i i tell you political questions may be dealt with by anybody but judicial appointments are dealt with by the cgi and no prime minister can appoint people who are not recommended by cgi i can give my affidavit on it and you can cross check with supreme court this very matter so, so you so you are saying supreme you court. are saying if any decision was taken to give this man a extension it is only and only and only the responsibility of the chief justice of india and the collegium that your government had nothing to do with it let me tell you you cross check the law there, there is no collegium in supreme court on confirmation of a judge only single chief justice looks into it and three successive chief justices were involved But, in it and they verified no verified was there a, from so, their own source was there an intelligence bureau report and against this man nothing and no no involvement of intelligence in it i i deny did manmohan singh tell you did manmohan singh tell you save my government mr bhardwaj save my government mr bhardwaj how, how, get get this how, man somehow how how, how, how somehow give him an extension so the dmk does the, not withdraw support the, 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 uh, mr 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 goswami it is absurd proposition whoever alleges it may it be any judge or anybody manmohan singh did not did not ever discuss this issue with me i of my own took the initiative to satisfy my colleagues in parliament and my own colleague minister of state mr venkatpati and my own colleagues in the cabinet and that cut see i how? owed it to them no how and chief just of india because because every mp comes with a proposition that this is injustice and a scheduled caste so what they person, so why do you listen to them saying, why do why don't you believe they are a motivated party they have their own no, reasons no, no, why don't you ask them why do you support a corrupt man to let, continue uh, I, i i i i told them and that is why he was not confirmed instantaneously but he was confirmed because eventually this, right this he was, was confirmed by 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 a proper 
inquiry made by the CGI. So your government CGI simply put, no, no, what's it? Your the, government, you can you, you know, a lot of people are watching you tonight. Can you swear today yeah. that your government, your government, Manmohan Singh government, you uh, as law minister, never tried to please yeah. the DMK by getting this man to continue as an additional judge or whatever in the Madras High Court? Let me tell you, I, am a, I, am a, I was a part of the government uh, on the allocation of business by the president. I am competent to take decisions. And whatever I did and recommended to the CGI, I take full responsibility. And what? I'm proud of no, no, it. No, no, what did you I recommend? What, what did yeah. you recommend? I, 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 I tell you from my memory, and you please note it. It's very easy to say something 10 years back happened and now. I remember this case. I told DMK also, nothing doing. This man cannot be confirmed right now. And I'm referring the matter to the CGI. And CGI said, yes, I will get, get him probed and subject to probe. I'm not But the investigation was negative. Away. So you admit you, there was a probe. There was a probe. Yes. A and the re yes. result was negative. And that pro no, result was they sent three photographs from Madras High Court and that this is very, this shows his proximity with a political party. DMK. And he is, it is not, de uh, it is not desirable to keep him in Madras High Court. So Chief Justice ordered his trans transfer to Andhra Pradesh. And that was accordingly recommended and done. And now, if you know the procedure of appointment of judges right from so, S.P. Gupta's case till today, there is, there is so much of law in this that a judge who is additional for two years should automatically be uh, confirmed as a judge. It was Venkaracharya who sir, said... Is a judge, one minute, one minute. There, no, no, one, you admit therefore, on second admission, that you, there was an investigation what? and the investigation revealed that this man Definitely. was very close that to a political party. I ask you now, Mr. Bhardwaj, is it right for any man to be seen to be close to a political party? A man who sits in the office of a judge or additional judge is supposed to be non-partisan to the extreme. Uh, 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 you uh, admit there was an investigation in which he was seen to be close to a political party. A, you, Mr. Goswami, you, Mr. Goswami, you do not understand this topic. It is already sitting judge, additional judge, and read Venkata. Sir, I am asking you. Judgment no, no, no. Mr. Gupta. Mr. Mr. No, no, no. One, one second, sir. I am replying. No, Mr. Bhardwaj, sorry to interrupt yes. you, but Mr. Bhardwaj, you do admit the seriousness of the situation. You admit that there was a man who, as per a probe and there an investigation, no duly man. ordered was it seen to be close to a imaginary. political party. Uh, what is close to a political party? You go to Madras today, don't you think the court is still divided? I, I had to, the high court remained closed. There was, there was serious strike. The, you investigate that which is more appropriate rather than digging out graves 10 years back. Sir, why, do you, now, why do you call it digging out graves? Why, why would, are you saying Karju is lying? Because why would a person of Karju's experience and, and, Kardju, and stature, how, why how would he Kardju, lie? Karju is... Kar, no, no, Karduju is no saint. He is also a person like other judges. And he was also appointed during my period. I have no animus with him. But what is the purpose of his, rather than talking the present situation Mr. in the Bhardwaj, judiciary and how improvement Mr. can... Mr. Bhardwaj, yeah. I, have, I have one last question to you. And I hope your response will be positive. Yeah. Are you willing? I never tell uh, lies at uh, this. No, no, I'm not saying you're yeah. lying. No, no, please, I'm not saying you're lying. I'm yeah. saying, are you willing? And I have no prejudice. No, no. Are huh? you willing? Are you willing to debate this matter what? one on one with Justice Karju if required? Are you willing to take Never. him on and debate him? I one have on not one? talked to him. Mm. I tell you, he never talked to me, even as a judge. And I never talked to him as a friend. I know his family. I have regards for Karju family, but the way he talks in public, that is most unbecoming of a judge. Are you willing to, you didn't answer me, are you willing to debate this issue with him? Because there must be some sense of a conclusion to this matter. Uh, let me tell you, uh, you excuse me, you are my friend, not my enemy. 
I, I have talked to you because I have faith in you. Otherwise, I have no pleasure in discussing this issue. After demitting office, I have no... But Kardusu, certainly we are avoiding each other for last five years. Because my personal reasons. And what he, you check with his colleagues in the Supreme Court. No judge was willing to sit by his side. Check, talk to Khare. Talk to other colleagues. I don't want to say no, that. I can see there is some animus between you I and Kaju, but that's not, the that's not the subject of our discussion. Well, I, I thank you for... No, I have no animus. I have no... No, no, no I... I have no animus with him. Let me... I, I have forgotten whatever he said. It is for you to judge and his colleagues to judge what contribution he is making to his own institution where he sat adorned the bench of the Supreme Court. And three chief justices he has targeted. And I know their relation, they were very kind to him. He became a Supreme Court judge with the help of YK. I don't want to say all this, but since you wanted, I ignore him and it's for you to judge. My, upon judges appointed during my terror, they have shown exhibited high standards of integrity. Do you think do you think Manmohan Singh should do you think Manmohan Singh should come out and, and say that what Mr. Kaju is saying is wrong? A grave charge being what made to the Prime Man Minister Singh panic. Issue? No, no, because the charges I tell you no, I, I, Prime I, Minister, the charges on Prime Minister, uh, that the then Prime Minister panicked and put pressure on the country's highest court. You don't think Manmohan Singh should come out? Uh, not at all. Manmohan Singh Manmohan Singh is a most decent person this country has produced. And a lot of injustice has been done to him. Okay. Also. Well, I'm very, I'm very sad. You, I'm telling you, oh, we have been very unkind to him as, in assessing him as a prime minister. He's an economist of VKRV's route product. I watched his whole life, 40 years, and he has done distinguished service to the country in various capacities. Nobody takes that away. This is the gift we are given. Nobody takes it, but it's our job to ask the questions. And Mr. Bhardwaj, I'm glad you spoke to me. We're going to play a clip of this yeah. to Mr. Karju when he comes it, on it's tonight. A great, great Thank you very much. I have, a, I have very high, I have very high regards for you as a as a journalist, but be fair to everybody. Thank you, Mr. Bhardwaj. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you. Thank you, Tampi Goswami.